Hello, I am Mac, at least for a day. This is another Spacing Guild members base showcase. I'm headed for Ultimate Assassin's base right now. He has been a member of the Spacing Guild for a while, but unfortunately he hasn't been very active. Um, he, hasn't, he hasn't visited any clients' bases yet or ranked up but I would like it if he did. Um, part of that is because he didn't originally ask to be a member, he just happened to visit my Spacing Guild base and put a comm station there, and so I contacted him and asked him if he wanted to be a member of the Spacing Guild, and he was like, uh, yeah, sure. <laughs> and so that may be part of the reason why he's not real motivated, because it wasn't really his plan to visit a lot of client spaces and stuff. But I'd like it if he started becoming more active and visiting client spaces and ranking up and all that. So that's one reason why I'm doing this these Spacing Guild member base showcases is to encourage members to keep visiting bases. And it looks like he's been visited quite a bit. There's several comm stations here. Wow, that's a lot of comm stations. <laughs> Ooh, wow. He's got blue rock on his planet. That's nice. Or is that blue? I'm pretty sure that's blue rock. Yeah, that's blue rock. That's pretty rare. Usually you'll get a lot of blue grass on a lush planet, but the rock itself isn't often very blue. That is a really pretty effect there. It's green and blue grass and blue rock. Very nice planet, um, Ultimate Assassin. So let's go check out his base. And all the comm stations around it. Let's see, who all has visited him? Oh, yep, Old McReaper88, the newest member to the... Guild. I just got him set up as a member on our website. New vacation spot, he says. Yeah, I agree. This is a pretty awesome spot. It's got the ocean and wow, beautiful colors. Oh, wow. He really picked a nice one. It looks like he put a comm station on his own base. He says it's a work in progress, not finished yet. You know, I think I've, yeah, I've, I've visited his base before. I don't, I don't think I did a video about it, but I remember visiting this and seeing that comm station. The funny thing is, unless he makes another comm station so that other players can't see this one, his base is always going to say that it's not finished. Oh yeah, I remember visiting this, this base. <laughs> It looks like it's changed a little bit since I was last year. Greetings, guildmate, says Marok22. I do not remember this planet being this beautiful, though, when I visited last time. It must have been nighttime when I visited. And greetings from Boomstick Joe. I probably left a comm station here when I visited before. Problem is you can't see an icon for your own comm stations, so... And Hollyworks visited. She is a... She's a pretty big explorer in the hub. She's not a member of the Spacing Guild. Well, I say she. It might be a female. Hollyworks sounds like a female, so... Sorry if it's actually not. Uh, but... She, Hollyworks has discovered a lot of stars in the hub and used the hub naming rules and all that. Oh, Buddha Bing visited and said, my kind of farm, thanks. And, wow, Ultimate Assassin is pretty popular in the hub, it seems. Lots of people have visited him. Besides just the Space and Guild members. I came, I saw, I conquered, spelled wrong, says Gribble Grunger. 
Concord has a Q in it, my friend. Okay, let's check out his base, see how much it's changed since I last visited. I'm pretty sure I have all the decals now, but I'll go ahead and check and see. Who knows, there could be like a super rare decal that I haven't heard about yet, but I doubt it. Nip Nip Fell... Nip Nip Farm sells in red, sorry. <laughs> that's, that's a pretty funny base name. <laughs> Yay, I got the jelly bean again. Huh. His his main building doesn't open up to his farm. Guess we can call this the barn. Ooh, yeah. He's got a ton of Nip Nip. Did he have a trade terminal back in there? Uh... Hopefully he's got a trade terminal in his farm. It's kind of hard to sell off somebody's farm if they don't have a trade terminal. Because you can't use their terminus to travel to a space station. So you're stuck with your inventory space filling up. Wow, there's no way in here. <laughs> okay, so I guess I'm going to have to jetpack up there? Okay, this is really weird. Why did he make it like this? There's no way in. Or did I miss a... There was windows over here. Was there a door I missed? I guess all the doors are, are up above the ground floor. Okay, then. Well, at least it is possible to get in. Imagine if you deleted all the doors, no one could get in. Okay, good. He has a trade terminal. So, I guess I'm going to harvest a little bit while I... ...think of something to talk about. <laughs> so yeah, his base is pretty basic. It's just a farm. Just a big barn, or just a big hydroponics facility, basically. So I'm working on, at my base... Uh, building some warp warp cell machines, I like to call them. They're the red tubes that you can find out in the field, but they're under the decorations tab when you do base building. So you can build these big red tube things, and over the period of several hours, they will produce... Um, an ingredient used in making warp fuel, or if you're super lucky, it might just give you a warp cell for free. So I'm building a bunch of those in my base for the purpose of making lots of warp cells so that I can warp around and visit people easier. So I don't have to make all the warp cells from scratch. And that's something my other Spacing Guild members have been doing. Building... Building lots of those red tubes for making warp cells. And I guess, for those of you that aren't interested in the Spacing Guild, at the very least, that's some advice I'm giving you. That if you are done making money, but you want to make warp cells easier... That's something else you can do with your base. You can build a bunch of red tubes and do that. It takes a lot of ingredients to make, though. It takes 500 antrium, because you have to make a whole bunch of voltaic cells for them. And then you also need some Corizagen, that blue plant that I harvested up there. That's what made me think of it. For making glass for it and it also takes two dynamic resonators to make each one so it's kind of expensive but of course if you have a farm like this it's producing lots of money you can you can buy the dynamic resonators easily dynamic resonators I think are like around 30,000 30,000 units each so it's not cheap setting up a red tube farm as some people call them and I'll show all this probably in my next 
uh, Space and Guild Weekly Report next uh, next week. I'll probably be back at my base and I'll show off my red tubes that I'm building. I might even end up getting rid of all my nip-nip buds that I have at my farm and turn everything into red tubes. Because, at least on this save file, my main focus is just on the Spacing Guild, warping the people's bases and visiting them, building a community in the game. So I don't really need to make money much anymore. I have a S-rank starship, and that's really all I need. I just want it's S-rank explorer starship, which allows you to it has a hyper, has a huge hyperdrive bonus, so that I can warp warp faster, travel across the galaxy faster. So. That is my main focus. I don't really need to buy any other ships because the S rank Explorer is all I want for this save file at least. Looks like he's got some storage over here. Oh, and it leads, yeah, this is that part leads to another room. Oh, and here's some more storage. Well, I wonder why he put these two ramps here. I guess to just kind of break up the monotony of being stuck inside a cubicle or something. <laughs> Not trying to badmouth his base. It's it's functional. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. That's how most people, well, a lot of people treat their bases. It's just a way to make money. Or in my case, it's soon going to be a shortcut to making warp fuel. You better set a comm station for him. A, I don't see a comm station that I left before, so regardless, I'll leave another one. And what should I say? Oh, I'm out of iron. Need to blast a few rocks. I don't really want it next to all the other comm stations because then you might not notice it. So I'm gonna put it... Oh wow, there's another comm station over there I missed. Guess I'll run over to that one and place mine somewhere up there. I could go poop here. It's pleasant. <laughs> oh man, Rabbit Gripper. He is another Space and Guild member. <laughs> wow. <laughs> okay. I think I'll put it up here in this pretty red mountains. And I'll say... Whoops. Color it. Did I say red mountains? I meant blue mountains. Wow. Um, I'm going to put the Spacing Guild Needs You. Put a... What's the old term? Put a bee in his bonnet. It basically means try to get him to get to work. The Spacing Guild needs you. <laughs> I don't really have any incentive to make my Spacing Guild members work, other than if they don't visit people's bases, then they won't rank up in the guild. But that's their choice. If he's not really interested, that's up to him. But it'd be nice if he would visit some clients for us and 
continue building on the community that we're working on here in No Man's Sky. This is not just the Spacing Guild, you know, it's the Galactic Hub, the Galactic Federation, there's all kinds of community groups popping up in No Man's Sky. And it's just a really neat period in the game that we're building all these communities and communicating with each other. But anyway, so this is Ultimate Assassin's Base. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.